in order to create an account uh, in lynda.com for the first time, I need to make sure that I've logged into my Blake email. And once I've done so, I'm going to go ahead and in the URL field type in lynda.com. And then you'll notice then when I'm taken to lynda.com, up in the upper right hand corner is the login button. And uh, because this is connected through my organization or school, I need to make sure that I uh, let lynda.com know that I am part of the blakeschool.org. Uh, part of this is the last part of my email address and select go and the first time that I log into lynda.com on behalf of Google uh, Linda is going to ask if it's okay to view my email address and my basic profile information to ensure that I can use lynda.com once I go ahead and click accept I'll never have to do that again and then um, if I Highly unlikely you've ever had a lynda.com account, so I'll put no, I never had. But if you had, you can connect your older lynda.com account, and that would just have your course history and playlist. So because I haven't, I'm going to go ahead and say no, I've never had an account. And once I do, uh, I'll be taken to the lynda.com uh, homepage. And um, then I can start uh, taking a quick tour uh, of all the different courses and ways to engage uh, some of the uh, amazing tools as part of lynda.com.